It's all the cat's fault. Adapted from a story by Anushka Ravishankar. This is the story of what happened the day I came to school without my homework. It was the first period on a Monday morning. Lena Miss asked, Has everyone completed yesterday's sums? All those who have not finished, please put up your hands. I looked around the big classroom. The fan creaked. A fly loudly buzzed by. But no one put their hand up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I wiped a drop of sweat from my forehead. Then I slowly put my hand up. Lena Miss looked grim. She pushed her glasses up her nose and came to my table frowning. Why haven't you done your homework? She asked. I opened my mouth to answer, but I could only croak. I tried again. I said the first thing that I could think of. Miss, it's all the cat's fault. Lena Miss turned red. Oh, is that so? Let's hear your story. I thought very quickly and began my story. You see, miss, my cat got stuck on a tree. The ladder was broken, so I took a hammer and started to fix it. My baby sister heard the noise and woke up and started to cry. So my mother rushed out of the kitchen. A monkey saw her leave and jumped into the kitchen and ate our lunch. What does this have to do with your homework? Lena Miss asked angrily. I said quickly, So because there was no lunch at home, my father went to the shop and bought rotis and curry. As he was walking home, a dog smelled the food in his parcel and followed him to a house. And then the hungry dog came running to me and ate the homework I was holding in my hands. The class started to giggle. Lena Miss put her hands on her hips. So, you are saying the dog ate your homework? Yes, Miss. It's all the cat's fault. I thought Lena Miss would start shouting. But what do you think she did? She threw her head back and laughed long and loud. <laughs>